first we'll start by importing the file and this is a rainbow file I made it's available in Nelly Designs library so you're gonna go and uh, download it go get it on your computer and then you click upload image and you get it right here and I will insert it right now um, my mug is not really large so I will be making uh, the size of the rainbow a uh, three inch wide enter and for you I'll zoom it a bit I always tell you to ungroup my files uh, as soon as you uh, uploaded it but I won't ungroup it right away because I want to write something above it, above it and I don't want to um, I don't want to move the layers for nothing so okay so let's add some text and what I'm going to be writing is in French I'm sorry about that it's uh, ça va bien aller meaning everything will be fine it's kind of an hashtag we have here in Quebec <laughs> about the COVID-19 of course so um, we have all uh, maybe you have some also we have all rainbows and windows saying that everything will be fine so people can see all the rainbows in the everywhere so let's just um, reduce the font, font size a little bit uh, it's gonna be easier if I go like this oops sorry about that The easiest, the easiest thing to do would be to uh, make it three inch wide also sorry so let's go for three inch and that is way better so you see there's a lot of wave of a lot of ways you can change the font you can change font size you can change the size right here and you can use the, the arrow right here so a lot of possibilities and now what i want to do i'm going to select the text and with shift select the rainbow and I will align it because I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> I will align it in the middle. And um, I want to curve the text to follow the rainbow. So if you're on a tablet or an iPad, you won't have the curve option. You really need to be on the computer. So this is what I'm going to do right here. Um, and you just play with it a bit until you are satisfied and now of course I moved it and it's not centered anymore so I'm gonna go back and center it but you see that's what I don't like because I have this thing under the C that makes it look like there's it's not centered so I'll just eyeball it instead and maybe curve it a little bit more what do you think but I don't want the seat to be touching so again I'll just move it a bit and here we are here we are oh and the font that I use is Cricut Saint that's the regular font that I thought I would be using for the um, the rainbow for the the words I want to be writing it in purple so right away I will go to color sync and I will put my uh, layer this layer I will drag it holding the mouse button all the way to the purple and you see it's the same color right now another thing I don't I don't I chose to do and um, this is for my second mug because the first mug I did it I did the the background layer but this one I don't want to do the background layer so I will just uh, go and hide the background layer because my mug is white and I think it doesn't really useful to put something that is so um, not really colorful so it will I think it will it will look better like this but we'll see <laughs> so now in order to position all the colors um, correctly when I will be uh, making them in vinyl uh, in Cricut Design Space it's going to be the same method for HTV vinyl and adhesive vinyl but when we're going to apply it, it's going to be a different method. So I'm going to show you what I'll be doing. 
you've probably seen that already it's a lot it's a pretty easy trick that everybody does particularly for adhesive vinyl but they don't usually do it for htv vinyl and this is but I think it's fun about it. So I'm gonna be making a star. You're gonna choose the size you want and I'll be, you can take any shape you want. I don't suggest a circle. You really need something that you can put uh, either a triangle, a star, an octagon, hexagon, that would be fine. Uh, I'm choosing a star and I'm choosing that, I'm just eyeballing the size. You, I'm putting it right here so I won't waste a lot of vinyl. Um, that way because if I was going to put it there you see I would be losing a lot of vinyl when cutting it you'll see maybe better later okay so let's see how many colors we have one two three four five six and the clouds is seven so I will be uh, I will duplicate this star six times since I have already have one so one that's the one one two So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So now holding the shift key, I'm going to select all of them and I'm going to align center. So they're all on top of each other and I'm going to move them right back where I wanted them. And now I'm going to be um, assigning a color to each one, each of them to each color of the rainbow we have. So again, we'll go to color sync. That's some, really something I like. You're gonna be dragging one star to each of the colors. So one star here to the red, one star to the orange, one star to the yellow, green, blue, and um, the clouds, and one for the purple. Now we'll need to attach the star to the same colored layer. So now we, I'm still grouped right here. You see Arcacial Nelly Design, meaning Rainbow Nelly Design. Um, you'll need to go ahead and ungroup this one. And when you ungroup something, or it always goes at the top. So in case you're, you're a bit mixed up, don't worry about it. So now for the purple one, it's uh, the one that's particular, meaning that I have the text that is also purple. So if I want to cut everything in one, um, one time I'm gonna go and hit shift select the purple star and select the text and I'm gonna attach again when you attach something same thing as when you ungroup it goes all the way to the top so here it is together it's attached I don't want to touch anything right now I'll just close it so it doesn't confuses me now we're here for the green so for the next the green one we go get shift and cut and uh, select the green uh, a star and we're gonna go attach again and we do that for every color so I'm just gonna fast forward it so you don't watch me attach everything <laughs> okay so here we are everything is attached together as you can see each color is are together with the star that is the same color the both both clouds are with the stars and uh, one thing I noticed while doing this is that maybe cutting the text with the star and the rainbow is a bit uh, harder to apply it on the mug for uh, all at once. So I might not, I will maybe try not to do it this time. So I will be detached like this. I will get, I will cut the text. Uh, without um, the star and uh, the arc of the rainbow. So I need to attach uh, the star and the rainbow back together, but the text will be cut on the side. So I will be applying it afterwards. I think it might be easier because of the, the, the mug is curved. And um, anyway, we'll see about that later. <laughs> so when we hit make it, this is what we have. Each of the layers are together and we'll be applying the stars one on top of each other so that everything is uh, perfectly aligned. Okay, so once everything is cut, uh, you are going to be cutting a transfer sheet that is as uh, large as your design. So I 
don't know if I'm the only one having trouble peeling off the trans regime, but it sure is hard for me. So once you finally get it, um, you're going to start by with the design that is in the front. I started with the words, but like I said before, I think you should be putting the words on a separate transfer sheet. It's easier to apply it on the mug uh, later on because uh, the mug is um, curved and so is the text. So you'll see about that, but you'll see the trouble I have when I try to applying it. So do as I say, not as I do. So you'll see you'll have a bit of a static thing going on when you try to apply one star on top of the other. So you really need to hold um, your uh, vinyl with some with your fingers and bend the transfer paper so that you can only apply the star. You rub the star and once the star is perfectly aligned, you apply the rest. So I will be doing this for all the colors. And one little trick I found out uh, that I forgot to do at first is uh, the backing of the transfer paper. Use it as a background when you apply each layer so the transfer paper doesn't stick on your mat everywhere. So last layer, last uh, rainbow layer, same thing. I hold it, apply the star, and then press everything with the backing of the transfer sheet in uh, just under it so it's easier. It doesn't stick to your mat that way. The scraper is also very useful. <laughs> and same thing for the clouds. Don't put them upside down like I did. <laughs> So I think it's pretty cute. And for this mug, I really did put the background on uh, that I showed you before, that when we were in Cricut Design Space, I turned it to off. So uh, your choice, you, you either use it or not. It's totally fine. I did both and I think both look cute. So I wasn't sure at that point, but uh, you see, I did a, a little uh, pale gray. So it was still fine, but I think I think I like the white just a little bit more. I mean, not putting the background. I think I like that a little bit more. So once everything is done, don't forget to remove the star because <laughs> you don't want the star on your mug, of course. So first step, use rubbing alcohol to just remove all the oils and uh, dust from the mug. Then I used some paint and a little uh, aluminum ball that I had to sharpen my Cricut blade to hold the mug in place so it didn't move. Really helps that way. And since the mug is round, you, what you should really do is um, cut some pieces of the transfer paper, some slice like that, so that when you curve it, it will just follow the mug. It's really easier and that's why I think it's easier to put the words right after. And you'll see that I'm struggling right here because I think my A was like not really flat, but I didn't manage to get it flat right after. So it was really a slow process. You, you, you just start by the center and uh, apply the right side and then the left side very slowly. You might need to cut some pieces of the transfer paper more. And you'll see that when I remove the transfer paper, it comes in bits and pieces, and that's totally fine. I don't think I'll be reusing this one <laughs> another time. And that's it. So it's done. Let's go on to the HTV now. You guys probably already know that trick uh, where you uh, fold the t-shirt in two equal pieces and you apply your easy press. 
So you have a mark in the middle and you know exactly where to put your design. So that's what I did. If you want to know what uh, setting I'm using, I'm going to, on my blog, you'll have the Sizer Eat Guide chart uh, link. And I'm using some Sizer Stretch HTV. So you'll have all the links on my blog. And the link to my blog is in the description of this video. So I usually put the design at least one hand uh, below the neck. It's really up to you. So my trick for you, here it is. You're going to get a little piece of leftover carrier sheet and you'll be putting it under the star. So when I do it with my heat, uh, my easy press, it will press the rainbow on the carrier sheet. Now I'm only doing a little five second. I will be doing this for all of my uh, rainbows and each time you'll see you, you really need to go and uh, press it very uh, delicately because you don't want a carrier sheet to be moving so when you remove your rainbow really do it very slowly holding the carrier sheet down to make sure it doesn't move and at one point i did uh, take a, a bigger piece of carrier sheet left over that I had and uh, put it on top so it helped. And now since my um, my uh, yellow carrier sheet is not covering all of the other rainbow, the red and the orange, I will be using Cricut Protective Sheet in order to not burn the other HTB. You also might need to apply a little bit longer with your your easy press if you have the Cricut protective sheet. Now the more rainbows you had, uh, the more you'll have to cut around uh, the star, the, the carrier sheet around the star, because you don't want to be applying the rainbows on the carrier sheet. So for the two clouds, it was easy for me to know where to put them since the rainbow's arc were perfectly aligned. So I decided not to cut the star with that, so I saved a little HTV on that part. So if you know me, I like everything to be straight. So I use my square to make sure to align this properly. And a little final press with the time uh, uh, dictated by the size of chart. And it was done. I hope you enjoyed these little tricks. If you did, please uh, give my video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when there's a new video. And I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.